Hi, Kaylee here, physical therapist with Prestonwood Pediatrics, and I'm here to answer your questions you submitted this week. First off, what does physical therapy at home look like? So that can vary greatly depending on the age of the child. We can do everything from working on rolling and crawling, learning to walk with babies, all the way up to sports like activities, um, rehabbing injuries, anything like that. So it can, it can really run the gamut as far as how it looks specifically that day. But there are a lot of toys involved, usually balls and jump ropes and bean bags and rings and cones, all sorts of fun stuff for the kids. Second off, what education is required to be a physical therapist? So currently entry level physical therapy requires a doctorate degree. So you go to undergrad for four years, get your degree typically in kinesiology, exercise science, something like that, and then go on to grad school to get your doctorate of physical therapy. At what age should my child be jumping independently? I covered this a little bit earlier in the jumping question, but around two years old is when we expect to start seeing them jumping. Um, ideally, it is with a two-footed takeoff and a two-footed landing. Usually starts with jumping off of an object, jumping off of a rock at the park, off the curb, off a step. Any of those things is great and then will eventually translate into jumping on a flat surface. So we expect to start seeing at least signs of that around two years Next old. Next up, at what age should my baby start wearing shoes? So typically I recommend that once a baby is walking pretty consistently, um, doing more walking than they are crawling, I still recommend that we wait at least a couple months before putting them in shoes very often. When they're outside of the home, playing outside, whatever. Shoes are great and obviously needed, but when we're in the home, we wanna let them be barefooted, let them explore a little bit more, feel the ground underneath their feet. It's great for sensory input. It is also great for letting their little feet develop, letting those, those muscles in their feet get good and strong, get them a good stable base and let their arches form. All that stuff is great for baby's development. So it is best to let them stay barefoot as long as we can, at least for a couple months. Okay, how do I feel about baby jumpers? So typically developing children do not learn how to jump until around two years old. Um, this is because the way the hip develops, the ball and socket joint is not complete until this time. So by putting your baby in a jumper where they are encouraged to do this motion that their hips aren't ready for, it increases the risk of hip dislocation. It can increase the risk of toe walking later in life. Just in general is not, not the safest place for baby. Okay, last question of the day. When should I use ice or heat for an ankle sprain and how long does it take to heal? So this is a tough question because there are a lot of different severities of ankle sprains. Some of them can just take a week or so to heal. Some of them take a really long time, several weeks, even months, depending on the severity. Um, an ankle sprain is a very broad, broad diagnosis. So sometimes it can just be a little bit of ligamentous strain all the way up to being torn ligaments that might require bracing and surgery and therapy and all these things. So that's a, that's a very broad answer there. As far as ice or heat goes, I typically recommend ice whenever the injury is in an acute phase, meaning it just happened, it's very swollen, it's very painful, it hurts to move it. Ice is great for that. Ice helps to take care of that swelling, get a little bit of that fluid out of there. Heat is probably better later on, especially when you're starting to return to activity, starting to get more active with that ankle, getting it moving a little bit better. Hope that clears some things up. Thank you so much for participating and stay tuned next week for Q&A with our code.